here in Arkansas gathered for a special legislative session, but because of COVID-19 and social distancing, it had to be held on the campus of UA Little Rock. Jay Burr joins us live with what kind of progress legislators made today. What happened? Yeah, good evening, guys. Uh, yeah, you can imagine it's a little hard to keep your social distancing when the House of Representatives has 100 members plus staff members to go along with that. So, of course, they held their first part of the special session right here at the Jack Stevens Center on the campus of UA Little Rock. Obviously, plenty of space inside the Jack for the House to meet and only one thing on the agenda. Now, this is actually the second time since 1908 that the House has not met at the state capitol since moving from the old state capitol. And it's peculiar as it was to see members spaced out. Speaker Matthew Shepard took to the Department of Health guidelines like Governor Asa Hutchinson has asked all of Arkansans to do. I asked numerous times of our public health officials, is this overkill? Is this something that we should just stay in the House chamber for? And the response was repeatedly no that if you can go to a larger location, a larger venue, that is what needs to occur. And to the matter at hand with House Bill 1001, it creates a COVID-19 fund and will shift over $173 million from the general revenue allotment reserve. Now, the governor does not have sole control over, over that, but the Speaker of the House, Senate Pro Tem, and majority and minority leaders of both chambers have to approve disbursement of those funds. And also, anything left over in that fund after June 30th will be sent back to that general revenue allotment fund. This will allow the governor to spend where he sees fit with that legislative oversight and the process created allows there to be a quick vote to allow the governor that ability. And the legislation on your desk will allow, allow the state to move quickly to respond to hospital needs, hospitals who need more ventilators, to nurses and first responders who need more protective masks and to the needs of our dedicated state employees on the front line of this fight. And I think you've, you've all seen that in the world that we're in right now and the needs that we have at the state level, those needs are changing, not day by day, but hour by hour and minute by minute. And so that's one of the reasons why this structure is proposed Now, after each expenditure that is made, it has to be reported back to the General Assembly. And of the things that will be reported back, it's the remaining balance of that fund, the total amount released to date, and the amount of all the previous releases and for what purposes. Live from the Jack Stevens Center, Jay Burr, Fox 16 News.